Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the today's session, we are going to continue our full course tutorial uh, with the third session. In the third session, we are going to cover the topics are what is the keyword and how many types of keywords are available in Python and what is an identifier and what are the rules we must follow whenever we are defining an identifier in the Python. Okay, I have already uploaded two session videos related to python full course so if you didn't watch it please watch those videos and, and then continue with this video so without wasting our time let's start third session so in our previous videos uh, we already covered introduction to python and uh, why should i learn python okay why name is python and what type of applications we can uh, develop by using python and what are the features of python or we can say what are the benefits of python if you learn python programming language we covered all these topics in the previous two videos okay so in today topic in the today session we are going to cover what are the result words are there in python what is the meaning of result word so result words are nothing but already defined some meaning for every keyword or result word we, are, we can also call uh, reserve words keywords also in Python or any programming language. Then how many keywords are there in Python programming language? For every programming language, there are some reserve words or keywords are available. For you, you know very well, for C programming language, there are 32 keywords are there. And the similar, in the similar way, for Python programming language also, there are around 33 plus uh, keywords are available. So reserve words also known as keywords so each keyword has a special meaning and a specific operation okay and uh, in the python programming language there are 33 plus keywords in python so there are all the keywords only or result words false none true and as assert okay uh, import while all these are nothing but uh, result words for each and every keyword has some meaning for each and every keyword has some specific meaning is there already defined that is nothing but reserved words or keywords okay then how we can see the list of python keywords using python programming language you know so uh, let me check it out now we are immediately open a visual studio code so i have already opened a visual studio code or vs code in our computer system okay just to create a new file like uh, reserved words uh, reserved words dot py okay and here we have to use import and keyword and then use print and keyword dot kwgs list i will explain all those things what is import and what is a print in our coming session as of now just to understand the program how we can display the list of uh, keywords or reservoirs using python programming language just we are using import and keyword okay just save it uh, by using a control and yes and uh, to run this program we are using this option to run or execute this program or you can use control alt n is a shortcut key okay just click on this one okay now you see here all the keywords now you can see the output here all the keywords are whatever the keywords are available in python all are displayed here now uh, now notice here all the reserved word or keywords are in small letters except false none true so for these keywords only the initial letters are uppercase letters remaining all keywords are in, in small case letters only okay so i hope you understand how you can print the list of keywords using python programming language okay so now we'll discuss about what is an identifier and what are the rules are there to define identifiers okay so identifier is nothing but a any name in python suppose if you are using a variable that is a name suppose you are using a class name that is also identifier suppose if you are using a function so that is also identifier only so whatever you are using in python programming language those names are nothing but identifier ones any name it might be class name variable name function name module name 
all are comes under the identifiers only simple definition is identifier is a name okay so that is used to identify variable function class and model then what are the rules are there to define identifiers the first character of the variable must be an alphabet or underscore if you are declaring any variable that must be first character alphabets only it might be upper case or lower case and it also allows underscore as well okay so the first character of the variable must be alphabets or underscore so all the characters it might be upper case or lower case letters are allowed to define the identifiers or variable only one special character is allowed that is nothing but underscore only okay and also one more rule is there and, uh, and also one more rule is there to define identifier that is nothing but, nothing but identifier name must not contain any white space that means whenever you are defining any variable or any name it should not contain any space okay or special characters okay and one more rule is there identifier name must not be similar to any keyword defined in the language identifier must not be a keyword so whatever the keywords 33 plus keywords are there so you should not declare those keyword as a identifier okay that is the meaning of uh, this statement okay and identifier names are case sensitive i will explain i will tell you what is the case sensitive okay uh, for example here see here lucky sir and one more lucky sir here okay so these both are not same because see here i have given space here and I, the and this and in this like sir i didn't give any space okay that is the meaning of a case sensitive and one more example for case sensitive means so if we declare this lucky sir in small case letters and if you are trying to declare one more uh, lucky sir in upper case letters these are both are not case sensitive now we will see some examples how to create identifiers in python see here see, i have defined a variable name channel like by lucky sir so this is valid because i have started identifier or variable using alphabets only and second one see here example second example i have started variable name with digits that's the reason this is not valid because you should not start with any identifier or variable with digits let's see one more example here underscore is there course underscore name underscore character is allowed in python programming language to define identifiers but whereas other special characters are not allowed it doesn't allow any other special characters while you are defining identifiers this is not valid okay so i hope you understand what is an identifier and what are the rules to define identifiers so if you really understand these concepts please hit the like button and also forward to your friends so we'll meet with one more useful content video thank you very much